Okay. Now, we gotta get these buckets. Oh, man. Okay. Son. Yep. He helped me. He gave me shavings for the chicken coop. Uh -huh. He gave me the fertilizer. And he gave me feed that'll last them for quite a while. That's good. Um, but I'm kind of like in shock, Shana. Mm. Because look, mm. peek in there. Come on, wait, what is that? Peek, peek in there. Are those chickens? Oh, what is that? Those are chickens. Come on, how are we gonna take care of chickens? <laughs> he said the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> He said the chickens are going to be fine. He said, put them in the chicken house. We don't know anything yet. How, what he kind of chickens are these? <laughs> what, kind of, what kind are they? I asked him what kind. He says, I don't know. They're just chickens to me. No, we can't just have just chickens. We, we don't have to just, know what kind they are. Are they female? We don't know. They're female because they're going to give us babies. How do you know they're female? Because he knows. Uh -uh. They're, not, they're not little chickens. They're big no, chickens. No, because they're going to start laying eggs soon. Those are big chickens. couple of things I want to talk to you about um, I don't know how active I'm going to be in the yard because you guys do remember that I have um, three pinched nerves in my lower back and uh, also I had to have my hand operated on I don't know if you can see right in here I had to have my hand operated on because of a trigger finger <laughs> A trigger finger, yeah. I had to have that operated on. And I'm 73, so, you know, it comes a time when you're not quite as active. So I want to be more organized this year as to what I'm doing and in the yard. And, and I want things to be, you know, to, to be productive. Now, um, the last video I did, uh, I think we... we um, the last video that I did, I showed you the chicken coop, or you, you've seen the chicken coop. And uh, I had gotten that chicken coop, oh my goodness. The company sent that coop to me, I think in last August. And you know, we talked a little bit about chickens last summer. Uh, I had the chicken coop for a while before I presented it to you guys. Uh, and I felt an urgency uh, even more so to get chickens. You know, I've always wanted chickens, not for the meat so much uh, as for, I've wanted them for the eggs. And so I've only wanted like one or two chickens. I'm not looking on this property here. I'm not looking to, um, to, to have a lot of chickens. Um, one or two. Uh, but I have to tell you a little story of something that happened. I was talking to someone that I know. And, uh, you know, we were talking about chickens and preserving and preparing and doing this and doing that. And, you know, just getting prepared, right? So I mentioned that I wanted, uh, I had saw in front of a business that he owns in town, I said, I saw your flowers and your plants. They were growing so wonderfully. I spotted that all last year. And what did you use? And he told me that he used chicken uh, fertilizer. And I was like, oh, you know what? That sounds like a great idea, chicken fertilizer. Uh, I can tell that it really did wonders in your in your garden. And he said, yeah. And he said, I can give you some chicken fertilizer if you want some. I said, oh, that'll be great. I can try it when I plant my garden because I'm getting ready to do that now. 
uh, even though I have to do it in increments. I can't come out here and just work all day because I do have, you know, uh, issues that I'm working on. And it seems when I feel better, I overdo it. And then I have to stop for a little while. So anyway, um, he said, uh, I'll call you uh, when I bring the, um, the chicken fertilizer. You can meet me and I'll put it in your, you know, you have a truck. I'll put it in the truck and that's it, right? I got a little bit of a video because when I came back home, <laughs> I was really, I was really in shock, guys. I was in shock. I went to meet him and he gave me the two nice buckets of the chicken fertilizer. And then he gave me, he goes, I have some shavings for your, you know, for you to put in your coop. And I was like, oh, that's really nice of you. And then he had a box that he was bringing over to my truck and it had chickens, in it. <laughs> chickens in it. Now, last week I did go to, you know, this place, Tractor Supply, and I looked at some chickens and that's, that was my intentions to get chickens from uh, Tractor Supply. Well, he had these chickens, really a nice person, right? Just being kind. And he brought these chickens and they were in a box. Okay. Now, we gotta get these buckets. Oh, man. Okay. Son. Yep. He helped me. He gave me shavings for the chicken coop. Mm -hmm. He gave me the fertilizer. And he gave me feed that'll last them for quite a while. That's good. Um, but I'm kind of like in shock, Shana. Mm. Because look, mm. peek in there. Come on, wait, what is that? He's peek in there. Are those chickens? Oh, what is that? Those are chickens. Come on, how are we going to take care of chickens? He said, the <laughs> he said the chickens are going to be fine. He said, put them in the chicken house. You don't know anything yet. How, what he kind said, of chickens are these? <laughs> what, kind of, what kind are they? I asked him what kind. He says, I don't know. They're just chickens to well, me. No, we can't just have just chickens. Wait, we don't have to just, know what kind they are. Are they female? We don't know. They're female because they're going to give us babies. How do you know they're female? Because he knows. They're not, they're not little chickens, they're big no, chickens. No, because they're, they're going to start laying eggs soon. Those are big chickens. I know. we got to put them in the chicken coop. What if, what if, we don't know everything they need. How well, we don't know anything. we got to run in there and look. Come on, I have stuff to do today. We, <laughs> <laughs> no, like seriously. We can't just ignore that they're here. Well, we got to take them? care of them. When he, I didn't think he was going to bring them. I said, you brought me chickens? He said, don't worry, they'll be fine. They'll be fine out there. All right. So I guess we're going to just be indoctrinated in there. We'll just I'll take this back there after no, we, we set up the get them out of there. The they don't look very comfortable in there. They're nice and warm. Okay. We'll leave this up. And uh, we'll leave that up like that and, put, and oh, close this, okay? And I just wasn't prepared. I'm not prepared right now to get chickens the, the size that these chickens were. These were, uh, later he tells me they're 27 weeks old. And they're big, they're big already. I wanted little baby chickens that I can get acclimated to. They could, they could get to know me. I get to know them. And, um, these were already 27 weeks old. And so I'm thinking, okay, now it was a cold day. It was the day that it was going to drop below. And he goes, don't worry. They're going to live. They're going to be fine. Don't worry. They'll be fine. So I thought, well, uh, I could move the chicken coop into the greenhouse here. And um, they'll have a place to hang out in until the weather, you know, gets better. So when I go to move the box, it was wet underneath. And the chickens started moving around and I got scared. I was uh, literally afraid of the chickens. And then I peeked inside 
and I saw they were a pretty good size and I'm thinking now I'm gonna have to lift these chickens out of here I haven't touched a chicken a live chicken since I was a teenager <laughs> So be careful of what you want and what you put out into the universe that you want. I do want chickens, guys, but I want to have chickens in a more organized manner until, you know, later down the line when I'm more familiar with chickens and all, you know, maybe I can hang out with the uh, chickens that are already 27 weeks old. But I want to start my chickens from little chick, little chicks and I want to gradually go up because I'm not trying to get meat out of, the, out of them. I just want a, two or three chickens that are going to give me some eggs. That's, that's what I'm looking for right now. Now, maybe down the line, uh, when I have more space, uh, more land to put them on, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll have more chickens. But for right now, I just want two or three. But guys, I thought I had to share that with you. That took up my entire day. I was thinking, now what am I gonna do with the chickens? I didn't want to give them back to him. I didn't want to want him to think that I was being um, ungrateful, you know? I didn't want to just give them back to him. But then I thought, you know, I don't really want to give them. I got my little, you guys like my little pen? I think it's off center, but oh well. Um, I was thinking if I, um, give him back he's gonna think I'm being ungrateful and uh so I have a neighbor who daughter they've given me lots of eggs and I said do, do you think your daughter wants some chickens but then I thought okay he's gonna ask me how the chickens are doing and I can always say they're doing well because I can ask the daughter <laughs> but no I got to get the chickens back so it turned into a long day um I kept them you know um, safe and sound until I could get back to his business and give the chickens back to him. They're too big for me right now. And I think there might have been five of them or six. I'm not sure. And I, I just didn't feel that my coop would be big enough for them. And uh, I want to I want to learn from the beginning. I want to learn. I want to watch them grow and I want to take care of them. I want to become familiar with them. I want to not be afraid. And I was literally afraid of those chickens. <laughs> oh, guys, <laughs> I was listen, I was afraid of those chickens. I was afraid of them. So Thanks for going on this chicken journey with me. Um, we're gonna do chickens and we're gonna do other things. And uh, I have a, a, an amazing summer planned for myself and my family and for you, some things that I wanna share with you. And uh, we're gonna have fun and, and having fun, doing work in moderation, uh, storing food as normal, canning, food and putting food aside and uh, just, you know, preparing ourselves um, because we know what's ahead of us. But anyway, guys, I just want to tell you my little chicken story right now. Don't give me any 27 weeks. We go chickens. I just want the little baby chicks. Okay. I just want the little baby chicks. Those are the only ones that I'm going to deal with for right now. We're going to start from the beginning and um, go from there but yeah i was afraid of the chickens guys so anyway guys remember how others treat you is their karma how you respond is your karma <laughs>